I know we only have about 10 minutes and and I said that I would give you a little bonus, which is to do a little lay tutorial. So we're not going to make this exact lay, but we're going to make something similar because it's going to be made out of tea leaf, which is the base of this lay that we have here. So give me a give me a moment and we're going to get some of our materials together. Eames, can you hold on to this box? OK, thank you. And I'm just going to put this down so that we don't make a mess. Isn't this a beautiful pareo? This one is um, Aloha de Mele <clears throat> pareo. Okay, so we're going to go to our Vavai cam so you can sort of see this. All right, we might want to be a little bit closer. Oh, no, this is good. This is probably good. I might ask you to go take it up there to show them afterwards. Okay, so anyways, our lay that we're going to make today is going to be a Hilo style. Now, I'm not talking about Hilo as in Hilo Hawaii. Yeah? Hilo Hawaii, I love that place. We have family there. Um, but the word Hilo actually means to twist or to turn or to, to make into sort of like a cord. Yes, like a rope. So the most common style of lei that you make in this style is the lei la i. And if you've never heard the word la i before, it's another word for the leaf of the tea plant. So if you um, see these leaves that we have here, these are tea leaf, uh, tea i. Um, and in Hawaiian, we sometimes call this lo ki. Lo meaning leaf and ki, of course, is tea. But if you're just talking about the leaves, leaves, the leaves, <laughs> the leaves themselves, um, we can also call them la i, l a o -E. Okina I with a kahako over the A and over the I. I don't know why I'm waving the leaf like this, but you know what I mean. I'm like, you know. Anyways, <laughs> so the la'i or the, the tea leaf, it grows on a stalk, yeah? And they sort of grow around like this. I want to tell you, when you're picking your tea leaf, please do not use a shears and cut it here because then you leave all of this part on the stalk and then the plant has to figure out what to do with all of that. So when you're picking your tea leaf, you always want to look at the stalk and look at the one on the bottom, on the outside, absolutely. And then whatever is on the bottom, you're just going to grab it. Okay, look, this one is a little bit up. This one is a little bit down. So you would take this one first, right, on the stalk. And you're going to take it and you're going to hold it like this and you're just going to rip it down. Yeah. And so then the whole thing should come off clean. I might have a little bit of dirt down on the bottom, which you're going to clean out. But... You take the whole thing off of the leaf. That way you help the plant to clean it and you don't have all of these little on your on your stalk. OK, so be careful when you're when you're picking your tea leaf. Now, to make this type of tea leaf lay, usually I use about maybe five to eight leaves. And if you don't have tea leaf growing in your area, you may be able to get it from, um, you know, a florist or something like that. You only need about five to eight leaves, depending on how um how long you want your lay, and also how tightly you're going to wind it. So the leaf itself does not need to be perfect. If you look at these leaves that we have here, they are kind of green, yellow, even brown. That is totally fine, especially for this type of lay. I actually prefer to use leaves with a little bit of variation in color because I think it gives a really pretty look once you... Um, once you weave it together. So don't be afraid to use these leaves. And in fact, when I go around and clean our tea leaf, I love to make lay with that um, because I, I like the color of it. Okay, so once you pick it fresh like this, some of you might know how to debone tea leaf. We don't need to do that for this type of lay. You're going to take your upa, you're going to take your scissors, and you're going to actually cut it right down the center. So, Eames, can you hold this side for me? Okay. And so you're going to start from the tip of the leaf, and you're just going to cut along the midrib. The tea leaf has a hard center portion called the midrib, and you want to just cut that whole part off. So you're going to take off one half you don't need the the length of the the stem but you're going to get a half just like that kind of like a half leaf then you're going to do the same thing on the other side always great to have a helper and of course anytime you want to make lay you want to make sure you have a nice thought in your mind because if you have bad thoughts or stress in your head the lay is going to come out bad too. I've had that happen to me many times before. Okay. So starting from this, this leaf, you can hold this one up. You, you cut it off. So you have actually three pieces. So you have two side pieces and then the mid rib is separate from that. Okay. 
So this you can put on the side, save for when your children are naughty. Just kidding. I would never do that. I don't do that, right? No, I don't do that. Okay. But you can put this to, to the side. Um, and then you have these. Okay. So, you know, if you have five leaves and you have two halves for each, how many halves would you end up with? Ten. Yeah. If you had eight and you had two halves for each, how many would you end up with? 16. So you might have anywhere between 10 and 16 halves. Now, if you if you have this, um, let's see, who has the most, is my mic the, the um, strongest? No, yeah. Oh, okay. I just want you to, okay. I just want you to hear. These leaves are pretty, what I would call crunchy. Okay. So I want you to hear how crunchy these sound. Here, listen. Okay, did you hear how crunchy that was? I don't know if you could hear that. You want to hear it again? Okay, here. Here's the crunch. Oh, okay. Could you hear that? Let me know in the comments if you can hear how crunchy that was. Anyways, this is not good to make lay with because if you make it with this, it's going to crack. So what you need to do is soften these leaves. One way that you can soften them is put them out in the sun for three days. <laughs> we'll see you in three days. No, just kidding. <laughs> Or you can put them in the freezer overnight. You see it tomorrow. No, we don't have time for that. You can put them in the microwave, just like he said, um, and heat them. <laughs> I did this whole stack of leaves in our microwave for one minute. But you have to see for yours. You don't want them to get crispy. You want them to keep some of their moisture, but you just want them to mine a little bit so that they're soft. Okay. So now I'm going to try to take this by his microphone and hopefully you won't be able to hear it. It just goes, it doesn't go, okay. <laughs> I don't know if this tutorial is worth anything. It's probably worthless, no, but anyways, okay, we're doing it. We're already here. Okay, here. Okay, very good. Anyways, so you have your, your leaves and they have been softened, maybe for one minute, maybe for 30 seconds. I don't know. It depends how how strong your microwave is so you got to go check them okay so you want to um if you look at my leaves now you know they're they're still kind of glossy maybe parts of it are a little bit darker but they're really nice and soft in hawaiian we call that my yeah almost wilted okay so now let's get to the business of making lay all right so here move up a little bit so that they can see all right so you're gonna start you can put that down that's not actually useful at this time you put it Okay, you hold it. Okay. All right. So you're going to take a leaf. And I like to kind of start with, I don't know, a, a big one. Okay, let's try this one. This is the one. Okay. And I'm making a mess over here. I'm actually a very messy laymaker. Some of some laymakers are so neat. Okay. So you're going to take this leaf that you have right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to hold it. And you're going to try to find there's a shinier side and there's a dull side. Try to keep the shiny side out, but once you start doing all the twisting, you won't even really be able to see. So here's what you're going to do. You want to try one? Sure. Okay. I'll try. Try. There you go. <laughs> so you're going to hold it, and you're going to sort of um, maybe like fold it a little bit so that mostly the, the um, shiny side is out. So you're going to fold it like hot dog style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect because let me show you what you're going to do after that. After that, you're going to take this and you're just going to start twisting it. So one hand is going to go forward and one hand is going to go back like this. Okay. So you're going to go like this. Twist. One hand forward, one hand back. And you're going to keep twisting, twisting until you get it into a little kind of rope. Kind of rope. Okay. Let's see if I can come a little closer so you can see what this looks like by the way um i don't know if you noticed but on my fabric of my dress that's the same type of lay that we're making okay so you're just twisting one hand forward one hand back one hand forward one hand back okay. one hand forward one hand back until you get a little piece like this it doesn't have to be too long maybe about what is that three inches babe three inches ish okay so you're gonna make it <laughs> yeah yours is a little longer than three inches okay so after you get this little strand, you're going to keep twisting it until it naturally forms a loop. Did you see that? Watch this. And go like this. And you twist it, and it naturally forms a loop. So you have a little loop like that. Okay. 
I'll hold it here so you can kind of see what it looks like on the bottom. Oh, that's hard to see. Okay, there. Okay, so you have a little loop just like that. All right, so now I'm going to need your help. Can you hold for me? Yes. Okay, we'll come back to yours after. Here, put it over here. That was perfect loop. So now you're going to, if you have someone to help you, it's really helpful. They're going to hold over here. If you don't have someone to help with, you can hook this over something, maybe, um, maybe like a, I don't know, something that's going to hold it, some kind of stick. Okay, so hold it like that. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk you through it first, and then we'll come close to the camera to show you. I'm going to take both strands, one in my right, one in my left hand, and I'm going to turn both of them clockwise, maybe, yeah. Then I'm going to take the one in my right hand. I'm going to turn it maybe three times. One, two, three. I'm turning it clockwise. And then I'm going to cross it over the strand on the left. Okay. So now Eames and I are going to come real close so you can see what this looks like, hopefully. Okay. So can I move this way? Cool. Sorry, we really didn't plan this. Okay. So this is my right hand. This is my left hand. The right hand is going to turn one, two, three nice and tight and then i'm gonna put it over the one in my left then switch hands yeah so let's go a little bit closer they can see it okay. right hand goes one two three cross one two three cross one two three cross pull a little bit more towards you there you go one two three and cross. So now you're starting to see it form into a rope. Yeah, I know easier said than done, but go get some tea leaf and, and try it. If it's not coming out too well, you can always take it out and start again. That's what all of the lay teachers teach you. Okay, so when you get down to this bottom part and you have only short ones, okay, let me show you what you have to do. I know we're out of time, but I just want to show you how you can add. So you're going to take this next leaf here. And you're going to leave the point out, yeah, and you're going to cup it right underneath the other one. So you have it underneath like that. Okay. Then you're going to take both sides of it, and you're going to pinch it around it. I tell my students, make like a little taco. Yeah, the old one is the filling of the taco, and then the other one is the shell. You put it around like that. Okay. Then you're going to fold it down, and right there, you're going to pinch where you, where you added it, and you're just going to twist it around the old one until it forms into a new section of the rope can you pull it a little bit more so that they can see yeah no no you're good and then you're going to cross it over then you continue on twist 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 and cross over twist oh, did i twist the wrong way who knows no. i didn't okay and then we can do the same thing with another leaf see this little tiny piece right here i'm going to do the same thing underneath gonna make a taco i love tacos okay actually i like burritos better but that's okay so we're gonna make a new rope pull 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 and now huh, magically we have two new strands Whoa. and we're gonna continue down our way now i've done this many many times so i'm you know i kind of fast at it but, you know, it takes practice and it takes right now I'm twisting with both hands just so that I can show you kind of a finished product. Uh, but, you know, right now, how many leaves? I guess we've used one and a half leaves. Yeah. Keep pulling towards you. You might need to scoop back a little bit. Yeah. So we have only used one and a half leaves and we're making our way twist and cross, twist and cross. Twist and cross, twist and cross. Okay, so let's back up so we can show our faces. Oh, sorry, tea leaf, I just smashed you. Okay, so you can let go now. This is what we've made so far with one and a half leaves. And this is kind of similar. It's not the exact same lay, but it's kind of similar to what Eames has on his lay that he has one, two, three, four, five, six strands. And each of these strands is wrapped with something like this. This is raffia that's been braided. So each one of the strands is wrapped with this and then put together into a layer of six strands. So, okay, just so that you know how to end it in case you want to try this and then you get to the end, you don't know what to do. Can you hold this? At the end, you have your two pieces. 
As long as you have enough, all you have to do is just take this and tie it in a knot. It's pretty resilient, but be gentle, okay? You're just gonna tie them in a knot and you may need to trim this end if it's really long like this. But basically you just tied those two, two sides together, just tie them off in a knot. And if this were a full lay, right now this is like a mini lay, okay? If, if you wanted to, you know, if you have this, maybe you need to trim it. I would just trim it at an angle like this so you have a nice point here. Maybe like that. Oh, that was not good. But okay, so you have a little point there. And then this one, can you hold this bottom? Yeah. And you have a point here. Watch your fingers. Okay. So if you have the end of this, you have a nice knot. You can double knot it if you want, but it might get bulky. Okay. So pretend this is a whole lay. This is a whole lay. You have a loop on one side. You have a knot on the other side, and then this is much longer because you had more than 10 minutes to make a lay, okay? Then you take this little loop right here, the loop. You take the knot on this side. You're going to string it through and pull the knot through and dun 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 There you have your little tiny Layla E. Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Okay. Here. Go sit back there. And you can just put it right over his head. Just, just like, yeah. just like that. Thank you. <laughs> just like that. Okay. Okay. We better stop. All right. Well, that's it. That's all we got for you today. <laughs> <laughs> well, joke's on me. Next time, leave more than 10 minutes to make a lay. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed our little lay la e tutorial. Um, and I hope it's helpful to you. And I'm sorry if it is not helpful to you, but hopefully it made you laugh at least. Okay. All right. You have lots to practice. You got to go make a lay or something. Um, until next time, <laughs> keep practicing. We'll see you real soon. <laughs> Ahui ho. Ready?